From blimps to Boeing, Seattle has long established itself as a player in the aviation industry. Now, the city is looking to the future of space exploration. So it's no wonder that it's home to the Museum of Flight, the largest privately funded airspace museum in the world. 21 acres of space and flight experiences that are mostly indoors. So it's a great place to land in any weather. I am Ted Hutter. I'm the Public Relations Manager at the Museum of Flight in Seattle. It is located at Boeing Field, just south of downtown Seattle. We've been around for a little over 50 years now, and it's one of the largest aviation and space museums in the world. We have a footprint of about 20 acres. Our collection is, is pretty universal, dating back to the earliest days of aviation, up through the space age and into what's now called the new space age. We have a, a number of things in our collection that you're not going to see anywhere else. One of them is the original Boeing factory. We call it the Red Barn. It's a building that dates back to 1909. They started making airplanes there in 1915. We also have the world's first jet, Air Force One. It dates back to Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. Uh, you can go inside of it, which is, which is also unique. Part of our space collection includes a full-scale space shuttle trainer. Now, it was used to train every single one of the astronauts that flew on board the space shuttle. There was only one of them made. We have it here, and it's another one of those things that you can actually go inside of, and you can't go inside any other space shuttle in the world. When you go inside there, you are sharing a space that was shared by people who really got us into orbit. Each one of these objects does tell a story. It's an unexpected experience. Anyone visiting Seattle, if you really want to find out something about this area, this place says it like very few others do. I can't remember when I wasn't interested in, in flight. It's one of those subjects that, that goes back as far as human history does. It's still one of those magical activities that was so elusive throughout human history.